Hi everyone, on from this side. So we'll be continuing the our previous project, which was a virtual keyboard. In the last video, uh, we have created a structure and styling. We just need to add the functionality. So let me just show you the final keyboard, how it looks, and the functionality we have added. So you can take on any uh, character which will appear, right? And we can use this uh, delete button as well. Plugin fan, uh, we can press enter. The cap lock works fine. Good. Uh, cool. We'll be adding this functionality to our keyboard. So let us start. Uh, let me just create another file. Uh, script or dot js for adding functionality. And let me just uh, uh, just remove this. Okay. At the bottom of body, let me just add the script. The source uh, source is going to be our script, right? Open this. Cool. First of all, let's just remove this content editor. Okay. So we don't want this. But the last we last video we added, but so just remove it. We don't want to write anything by default. We want to, it to be filled with our virtual keyboard. Okay. So I remove this. Cool. Now let's come to it. Let's implement the functionality of uh, these four buttons or these three buttons. First of all, or back button, or you can say delete button, enter button, and the space bar. Okay. So first of all, let's add the functionality of these three. So for that, uh, I need to select this text container. So the we have given it the class of text container. Let me just copy it. Uh, select it. The text container is going to be uh, document dot. Uh, selector dot container. Yeah, we have selected it, and first of all, we are adding functionality of enter space bar. So let me just do select these two key as well. Enter key document dot query selector. So let me see uh, what is the class we have given it to it. Space okay, this space uh, second class key key key. Yeah, so yeah, we have given it a enter class. Okay, so let's just have enter, and I'm adding a event listener to it that uh, so when someone clicks on this enter, what do you want? Okay, whenever someone clicks on it, so we simply want uh, whatever the content is present here. So for initial, initially, let me just add some content. Uh, the content is like uh, let me add food with data. The content is there, right? The content is there, and whenever uh, someone clicks enter, what I want, I want my cursor to place at the next line, right? So let's come here. Uh, let me just get the current text. Okay, let content. Uh, what is the content in text container? Inner text. We can use inner text, inner HTML. Both will work fine here. And uh, my new content will be my new content will be old content plus enter. We use this uh, backward slash and uh, and for the enter. So yeah, we do have new content and we do need to set it to text container. So let me just uh, set it new content and uh, let just have yeah. So uh, let's see the effect. Uh, it's not visible to us, right? Uh, it's not visible. So for the effect to be visible, let's see. Let's come here and see what's uh, how it looks at the starting. That's blank. If you if you notice uh, the first character, whatever we are writing, comes at the bottom, right? And when I press enter, it shows me again, right? It's uh, going up. Cool. So for that, what we can do? So let me just go to our styling, style dot css text container. I'm going to give it a display flex and change its flex direction to column labels. So now it will come to the bottom. Cool. It has gone. Okay. So oh, let me just give it a overflow y uh, in the y direction to scroll if there is something. Okay. You can see we do have a uh, scroll now. Cool. So let's see if I press enter, what happens? If, whether it uh, goes up or not. So it's going up. So that means our enter is working perfectly. Right. Our enter is working. Perfectly fine. Cool. In the similar manner, we can add the functionality to space bar. 
let's just add it so uh, let us base key is going to be document dot trace selector dot space i hope this is the class we have given to the element mm, yeah that's it or uh, let's go so space key dot add event listener of click same pattern will be followed so, or similar word will be there so, check. So, let me just copy this it is saying uh, in uh, programming that do not repeat yourself uh, i am repeating myself so instead of doing this we obviously can write a function hey okay i give this task to you or uh, i suppose you will complete it just uh, rather than uh, copying this two time have a function and call it now let's come to the this delete part okay so what should happen when i will click on this delete icon or you can say a back button the content whatever content is here uh, it should be uh, decreased by one character right so let's come to this uh, let delete key for document dot query selector let's see what is the class we have given to the icon or not no we have not given let's just come here and give it a delete class delete uh let's add one quality to this delete key dot to event listener i'm adding event listener to it or click mm, function so so content is the text container dot text new content so let new content is going to be our content dot slice basically uh, substring right the substring of one length lesser from zero to content dot length minus one and we will set it to the text container dot text container dot inner text equal to new content let's see uh, does it work fine or not Everything is gone. Uh, let's see at the inspect. Okay. Uh, let me refresh it. Add video. Add a console or new content. I think the spelling is wrong. Uh, and the P was extra. Okay. So it's working fine. So uh, you need to see it here. functionality to these three buttons have been added successfully to these three buttons right one two and the space bar has been added successfully it's working quite fine now let's move to our cash flow right so when you press cash flow so it should convert the characters to uppercase right so let's just try to implement it so i think i've given it a special class cash flow yeah Okay, uh, let's select this caps lock document dot to query selector dot to caps lock. Uh, we have selected caps lock dot add event listener. Click to function. Yeah, so uh, I want to uh, basically I want to convert all the keys, right? Or you can say characters to upper keys. So I need to loop through all the keys one by one. So let's select all the keys. Let uh, all keys equal document dot query selector. Document dot query selector of dot key. I think this is the class we have given. Yeah. Dot key. So here, let's come here. And first of all, uh, and before moving to that, uh, we need this functionality as well of highlighting it when it's game, right? Let's come here. First of all, let's make it toggle. I'm adding, I'm giving a variable for checking if caps lock is clicked or not. Initially, it's not clicked, so I'm giving it false. Then if uh, is caps is on, then some functionality, and if not on, then some functionality. And after each key, we want the uh, is caps variable to toggle. Like if it was false, we need it to be true now. And if currently it's true, and again someone is clicking on it, so we want it to be okay so if it's caps uh, let me just write a class of uh, something like 
active and give it background color of five CM, right? So let's just give it. And when someone clicks on it, what I want, I will just add this class. If caps lock is already on, we do if caps lock is not on, right? In this scenario, we want to add a class list dot add active, like this is active. And see, so if I click on it, yeah, you can see it's giving me effect. But again, on again clicking on it, it's not uh, removing the white background, not removing because. For that, we need to add this class list dot remove the active class from right. So let's see. Uh, yeah, the toggling is working fine now. Good. Let's just add the functionality as well. So now, uh, when uh, the toggle is on, I want all of them to be uppercase. So let's just look to all key. So let the of all keys. There is some special key uh, which is one, two, three, four. Four keys are special, and uh, the differentiation differentiation between special keys and normal keys is that uh, whenever the difference key is there, we have given it some class, right? So some class is there, like right? their caps lock is there, second class is there, and key space is there. So they have uh, something like uh, more than one class. For the normal keys, we have just only one class, and uh, for the special keys, we have two class. So this can be our differentiation. We can check if e dot class list dot length is greater than one. So do nothing, right? Just simply do nothing because uh, this is not the normal class. Else, not the return is a for loop. We don't want to return. Just do or nothing. Okay. Else, if it's not the case. What we want, we will simply key uh, dot inner text is equal to key dot inner text dot to uppercase. Just change this to uppercase. I think not here. Uh, let's first add this to the last right because this is where uh, we are activating this first time or we are creating on the caps lock first time, right? So, uppercase, let's see. Uh, if it didn't work, uh, let's in fact, uh, all keys is not iterable. Okay, oh, so this is saying why because we have applied query selector, just query selector, it selects one, but we don't want to select all. So let's just apply all here. Now it will be iterable. So, yeah, now it's iterable. You can see, uh, it's working fine, not properly, just the upper uppercase part is working fine. So for the similar thing we do need here as well. The lower case part. We just need to do if someone is again clicking, so we just change it to lower case, upper, lower, right? It's working fine. And let's see if uh, I click W. Okay. So okay, we have not added this functionality. Like I'm talking about this one. On the other case, we have not applied yet. So these four have been done. Back to enter and the caps lock. These functionality for the four buttons have been done. Now let's move to other keys as well. So, for other keys, uh, what you can do if you want to uh, add even listener to all, so let's just simply uh, look through all keys. Yeah, for all the keys, if uh, yeah, key dot class list dot length is greater than one, we don't want to do anything. Right. Else, else we want to add the event listener. Right. So add the event listener. P dot uh, add event listener because for that four keys we have already applied. Now the rest of the rest of the keys. Uh, whenever someone this, we just want to one thing. Whatever the content is present on the text container, just add the character which is pressed. Like if P is pressed, just add it to it. So let us simply add okay uh, key text container dot inner text just add one more thing that is key dot inner text right let's see for uh, yeah it's so fine okay if I press on the caps lock 
is working great as well good and uh, button is working fine okay uh, okay we have uh, completed our project uh, that's it for this video and uh, let me know if there is any project you want me to cover i'll be more than happy to cover it just uh, comment down the project name till then bye